Manchester United's 19-year-old winger, Alejandro Garnacho, had a breakthrough season last year, scoring his first senior goal for the club in a Europa League game against Real Sociedad at the age of 18 years old. The Old Trafford faithful have seen another 18-year-old make a big statement at the club, and that player was the legendary winger Cristiano Ronaldo who signed for Manchester United at 18 years old from Sporting Lisbon. And obviously Ronaldo has gone on to achieve enormous things in football, but let's compare the stats of Garnacho and Ronaldo in their first season at United at the age of 18 years old. Ronaldo came to United in 2003, and obviously last year was Garnacho's first full season, but their stats are quite similar. Ronaldo played a few more games and got a few more goals and assists. A lot of Garnacho's appearances came off the bench, but you can see that he actually scores more goals in less minutes played. And he has the ability to get the crowd on the feet. He's in the top 1% for touches in the attacking penalty area and carries into that penalty area. So he wants to get on the ball and attack defenders. And when he does get the ball in these wide areas, similar to how Ronaldo was, he drives at them. He faces the fullback, faces the defender, and has the ability to cut inside onto his stronger foot, where he can then cross or look to score at the back post. But a real importance of Garnacho's game is that he's an unpredictable player. And we know that Garnacho loves to dribble, but he's able to play around the press when the defender comes tight to him, with a quick 1-2 one one to release himself in behind the defence. And this ability to see when the defender's pressuring him, and when to play a 1-2 and when to move the ball on, is very important. And we saw how beneficial this was to him in his match-winning goal against Fulham last season, in the final minutes of the game, where he played a quick 1-2 with Christian Eriksen and burst through on goal. This ability to move the ball, but also to dribble so successfully, is huge. He's actually in the top 6% of wingers for take-ons attempted per game. But surprisingly, he's only in the top 30% for successful take-ons. So that shows that he gets tackled a bit more than we expect. But a huge positive for a player of Garnacho's age is the ability to keep going and to keep taking on the defender. If he loses the ball, the next time he receives it, he wants to go again. He doesn't lose confidence and he believes in his ability. And this gives Ten Hag great confidence in Garnacho himself and options to play differently. He's a great option for United as an outlet when defending deep. United might be under pressure, but Garnacho has the pace and the ability to run in behind the defence on the counter-attack. This gives United the out ball that they are looking for. And he's a player that they look for on a lot of situations. But he's also able to drop deep and keep control of the ball under pressure when he's in the defensive third of the pitch. He's comfortable on the ball, but ideally, Garnacho would much rather be facing the opposition's goal rather than protecting the ball facing his own. So to do this, Garnacho thinks about playing high and wide. The very top players need to understand what they can do to get themselves in the best position to be most effective. When the defender plays narrow, Garnacho realises that to have more time and space to receive the ball, he needs to start wider and near the touchline. This gives him an opportunity to receive the ball to feet and take a touch and go 1v1 against the defender. The distance for the defender to travel out to him is far, so it gives space for Garnacho to get on the ball. So a big positive for him is getting high and wide so he can receive it to feet and then dribble. However, if he stays in this position all the time, it's likely the defender is going to step forwards and try and intercept the pass or get tighter to Garnacho, which gives him a fantastic opportunity to run in behind into the space where he can use that huge amount of pace that he's got. So what I find incredibly important for Garnacho and something really special is that even at his young age, he is very aware of his positioning and what he needs to do to exploit his technical and physical attributes. Lots of young players don't understand maybe what their strengths are and how they should use those strengths. But Garnacho has the pace, he uses it at the right times, but he has that dribbling ability when he receives the ball to feet. But the massive thing is that confidence in his ability to keep on going, 
even if he loses the ball. And this means that Ten Hag has a real talent in his hands for the upcoming season. He broke through last year with some good stats, but could this be the year where Garnacho really goes sky high?